Bashir on the outside of him. Bashir's curved his run, so he stayed on side. Bashir cuts in, left-footed. Mamir, oh, what a goal! Ethan Morgan! My word, that is the best goal I think we've seen in a shrimp series so far. I am absolutely specious. Hey, what's happening everyone? Johnny Man here and welcome to start off season 2 here for The Shrimps. Today is of course episode number 17 in the series. And uh, as I mentioned, yeah, we start off our, our, our campaign here in League 1. So let's take a quick look at some of the opposition that we'll be playing in this league. Now obviously, um, it's a bit more of a challenge this season, no doubt about it. Last year we uh, ended up destroying uh, League 2, which is a little bit of a surprise. Um, but some of the players that came through our youth ranks have been absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, so we got some really good teams in this league, no doubt about it. Much more of a challenge. Coventry City, obviously Bolton, um, Barnsley, uh, just Rovers in here. Um, obviously uh, Portsmouth are in here too. It should be a pretty interesting campaign, nevertheless. Now, the uh, squad itself hasn't changed too much. Uh, not too many players have come into the side. Um, however, there has been some personnel change to our starting 11. You may notice this already. So, goalkeeper Takabe has taken over as the goalkeeper of choice. He is 69 overall now. He has grown no end over the summer. And um, he's actually behind El Bashir as the second best player in the club. Uh, Conte Sao is now 66 overall, as you can see at right back. Uh, Reese in Edison Reese inside a Brazilian partner, 61 overall. Fernandez is now 59 overall. Uh, ben Yesen is kind of stalling out at 62, but he's still growing slowly but surely. In midfield of uh, Michaels at 66, Richter at a 69, and Cooper in there as well. It's a very strong centre midfield partnership between the three of them. Um, obviously, all holder midfielders, which is um, somewhat problematic. But then again, we're going to be obviously defending a lot more this year. So having those three protecting the back line is going to be um, pretty uh, pretty important for us. Um, Felix Victor, by the way, actually got himself a couple of goals. He was our top goal scorer, I believe, in the international cup competition that we played. Up top right now, it's still Kobayashi on the left, so integrating himself into the squad. El Bashir is now 75 overall current ability. And then Harvey Rose is still leading the line because we're yet to find that uh, that striker, <laughs> that uh, designated striker um, to lead the shrimps, the glory. But so far, Harvey Rose has come in, done a good job. As you know from last season, he was uh, one of the top scorers that we had. All right, so without further ado, uh, let's get this season roll. I've got Scunthorpe United, obviously. I'm excited. I'm sure you guys are excited as well. Um, again, this line we're going to go with. Obviously, this season will be a much, much uh, sterner test uh, for our ability. And uh, I'm just looking to get forward to get things going. All right, so here we go. Playing at home against Scunthorpe United. This is what dreams are made of, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it rolling. Let's get the season off to a flyer. Oh, a great tackle there from Cooper midfield, and Michaels picks up the pieces. Captain America to Kobayashi to Richter. Richter's got Cooper streaking forward. Can he get there? Callum Cooper. Oh, what a challenge that was from the uh, Scumfort defender. That was the first real chance of the game there for the Shrimps. It was well worked in the end. Coop getting forward and almost uh, getting a goal scoring opportunity. Balls ripped in from Morris. Yesen's there, though, with a header. Tell you what, having someone uh, decent in the air at a fullback position is certainly a great advantage here in FIFA. That's one thing I've noticed. That's a great chance at the end of the first half and it flies behind to what I think is a uh, goal kick. But what a matter anyway, it's the uh, end of the first half. So it's here nil-nil and uh, both teams really haven't created too many opportunities. Uh, we've perhaps uh, been closest to getting a decent one. Um, just kind of one step away or one pass away from uh, going one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Um, we'll, we'll keep the same team out there for now. Obviously, I'll do some attacking options on the bench. Um, the likes of uh, Marcus Rose can come on and make an, uh, an offensive difference. Obviously, you know, he's a supporter midfielder. Um, Ponce has certainly made leaps and grounds, uh, but he's not really an attacking threat. So, if anyone comes on in the second half, it's probably going to be Marcus Rose. Speaking of Rose, here's Harvey Rose doing superbly well to get away from his man here. Chance here, and he's just out muscled there from the uh, Scunthorpe defender. Well worked here from Scunthorpe. Carvin is open here. Yes, and gets across to make the challenge. Reese can't get the uh, second ball. And the shot finally goes in, but it's straight at Takabi. Comfortable save there from the uh, Japanese goalkeeper. 
Decent looking ball here. And uh, Horvath has got the wrong side of a yes. And that's a great ball in the box. Chance for Scunthorpe here. And that was a glorious opportunity there. For Scunthorpe to take the lead. Definitely the uh, best um, attempt of the first half. Uh, sorry, of the game so far for either side. Um, I'm going to make a change. Coop, I'm going to take you off. I'm going to bring on Marcus Rose. Um, other options I have on the bench. Obviously, I've got Ethan Morgan. I've got Chevalier. I've got Mamiri too. So... One of those changes for a little bit later in the game. Um, but for right now, a 0-0 in our first game in uh, League 1 really wouldn't be that bad of a result. There's a chance now. Morris gets wide. Puts the ball in the box. Yesen's there once again. The ever-dependable, ever-liable Ben Yesen finds himself in a great spot and makes a uh, wonderfully heady clearance. And the box now. And once again, comfortable save there for Takabi in goal. So, uh, about 20 minutes of the go in this game, we haven't really managed to carve really any decent opportunities out. That's a little bit disappointing here, a little bit concerning going forward. I think goals are definitely going to be hard to come by in this league for us. But here's a well-worked opportunity though, here's Kobayashi now, got himself a great position, he's got Rose in the box, that's a good ball, Harvey Rose scores, get in there, first goal of the season. There for the Shrimps, first goal in League One. Harvey Rose finds the back of the net from Kobayashi. Just as I was saying, we haven't carved any opportunities out in this game at all. And uh, we finally get one there. Inch perfect cross there from Kobayashi. And a, uh, he had to use every single muscle in his neck to wrap his header on target there. But a uh, great header there from Harvey Rose. And we are now 1-0 up. Is Marcus Rose now. He's got Bashir on the outside of him. Bashir's curved his run, so he stayed on side. Bashir cuts in, left-footed. Mamir, oh, what a goal! Ethan Morgan! My word, that is the best goal I think we've seen in a shrimp series so far. I am absolutely specious. That ball was actually aimed for Mamiri at the back post, but Ethan Morgan with an absolutely sublime scissor overhead kick. Oh, yeah, scissor kick. It's an overhead kick. What a goal from Ethan Morgan. This is... Oh, my word. I don't know he can get his leg up that high. What a goal. He just glided through the air. And that ball was for Mamiri. It wasn't for Ethan Morgan at all. Oh my god, what a finish there from Ethan Morgan. And he's already got goal of the season. One game in, he's got goal of the season. Ethan Morgan. Questions were asked at the beginning of the season if he was going to be good enough at this level. Well, I think today Ethan Morgan has answered his critics. I am absolutely speechless by that goal. Here's El Bashir now. Got one of Marcus Rose. He's got Morgan there. Center again. This time, Mimi is going to try and get the end of it. And it's uh, forced uh, out for a corner kick. Good work there from the Shrimps. Bit of confidence. Getting a goal there. It was obviously a huge, huge deal for us. Here's Edson Reese now. The edge of the area. Edson Reese with a pile driving effort. Deflected against the uh, opposition defenders. So, just uh, three minutes now. I've added on time. We're going to come away with a victory here. Uh, my word. What a goal from uh, Ethan Morgan. Here's Rose now. Ooh, couldn't uh, get a hold of the loose ball. But uh, what a goal for me from Morgan. I'm just absolutely speechless. This is worth looking at again, surely. Let's take another look at it. So, ball went out to Bashir. Now, I was aiming for Miri. Now, it's a bit of a mismatch at the back post, but I did not expect Ethan Morgan to be able to do that at all. Again, I was surprised he got his leg up that high in the first place, let alone get the ball on target. What a goal indeed there from Ethan Morgan and a great way to start the season. All right, so here we go straight into the second game of the episode against Doncaster Rovers. Now, before we do this, though, I did forget to do a player profile at the beginning of this episode. So let's go take a look at one of the uh, one of the players that we have. Now, I picked up a Ryu Takabi before the start of the first game. Obviously, he's 18 years old, 69 overall potential. Um, he's plus two on the campaign so far. So he's had a good solid start as far as growth this season. Um, ability wise, he's a six foot four goalkeeper, three star weak. Uh, let's take a quick look at his physical and mentals. As you can see, needs a bit of work there. Um, technical ability, though, is pretty decent. Uh, reflexes, uh, plus three on the campaign, 77 overall. Diving is plus two. Handling is plus one. He can definitely do some work on his handling. But that'll come over time, no doubt about it. Uh, positioning, plus two. And kicking, 63 overall. So, this kid at 18 years old. 
I'd say is one of the most uh, promising players we have at the club. And uh, looking forward, I do expect this guy to be the number one uh, for the foreseeable future for the Shrimps. Obviously, I'd love to keep Carlson behind him as a backup, uh, just, you know, for old time's sake. Um, but we'll have to see when it comes to uh, contract renegotiation times. But anyway, um, good result against Scumfort last out, but I'm not going to make any changes to the side. We were very solid in the first half and obviously going into the second. Obviously, we have a wonder goal striker, um, Ethan Morgan on the bench and Marcus Rose. If you want to make any changes, plenty of options for us. And um, I've just noticed this, but the Doncaster kit is absolutely amazing. I love that Doncaster kit. That was one of the best kits I think I've seen in quite some time. Very impressive stuff there from uh, Doncaster. But uh, anyway, yeah, this is how we're going to line up. No surprises, no changes. Let's get it going and let's try and make it two wins out of two. All right, so here we are up against Doncaster away from home. First away game of the season. Obviously, uh, going into it, again, these are one of the uh, the tougher teams in this league. So I'm looking forward to perhaps uh, maybe surprising a spring result. Uh, sorry, surprising a... Uh, Spring in a surprise result. There you go. Um, talking is very, very difficult for me this morning. I do have to apologize. Chance early on here for Doncaster. Ball's got whipped in the box. Can't say Sal's going to have to deal with it. He does. Doesn't get it very far. So we get the second ball away. Nope. The ball goes straight back in there. And a chance at the edge of the area. That's a decent looking shot. Just missing, just missing the uh, post. Rio Takabi never looked flustered by it. But uh, still, that was a decent opportunity for Doncaster here at the beginning of the game. Opportunity now, well worked from Doncaster. Ball goes in the box. Reese is there to make the headed clearance, and he's found the feet of uh, Harvey Rose. He's got Bashir on the outside. Let's see if Bashir can uh, perhaps beat this left back. Nope, he cannot. He runs straight into him instead. Super, superb play once again from El Bashir. Oh, well worked this is, and lucky enough, Fernandez there showed great anticipation there, picking up the uh, loose ball. Ooh, that was very, very dangerous though. Doncaster pressing. Very, very high line here. Now here's uh, Richter, who's found Kobayashi. This, this gives us space there to exploit just like this. There's Kobayashi looking for Bashir. That's a great ball, Bashir off the crossbar. Kobayashi with the volley. And it goes wide for a corner kick here. My word, what a fantastic ball there from Kobayashi. And on the return volley too, that might have been going in. The keeper was still out of position. Obviously would have had to beat three players on the way through, but... My word, that was a glorious opportunity there. Well played from Kobayashi. Bashir, though, couldn't quite get his effort on target. And uh, Chance goes a beg in here. There's Michaels. Puts a ball into the far post. Looking for Bashir. Can't find him. There's Kante Saad. The attack is still alive. He's got Richter at the edge of the area. Richter onto his stronger right foot. Makes the shot. And that's a great goal. Oh, it's going to say great goal. Great effort, I should say, there from Harvey Rose. They're on the volley. Whatever Ethan Moore can do, I can do better. And uh, that was a very, very close effort there from Harvey Rose. But um, promising signs here from the Shrimps and early going. More worked here from Doncaster. Ben Jessen makes the interception again. And here's Coop now. He's got Richter in support inside of him. Poor ball in the end, though. There's Fernandez, though, picking up the pieces. Ben Yesen now has got Kobayashi inside of him. There's Richter. And this is kind of a repeat of what happened with the first chance. That's another fantastic ball from Kobayashi. And he's found Harvey Rose. He gets his second goal of the season with a fantastic downward header. A wonderful ball again from Kobayashi. Fantastic play from the uh, Japanese winger. Once again, second assist the season for him. Getting out wide, whipping the ball in with perfection. Put it on a plate for Harvey Rhodes. That's a good finish there from the English striker. 1-0 up here. And uh, this is very encouraging signs of things that come from uh, Kobayashi and Harvey Rose. Here's Josh Michaels. There's a great through ball now. Harvey Rose. Glorious opportunity here to get a second of the game. Harvey Rose has forced the keeper into a fantastic save. Good save there from the keeper. We really, really, really should be 2-0 up. All right, just for the break here. Let's see if we can get an opportunity from this set piece. Oh, who was that? I think that was, that was uh, Fernandez there, rising there at the near post. Just flashing his header wide, but I think the, the uh, guy on the line would have stopped it if it went inside. But still well worked set piece, and Fernandez got himself an opportunity. Just for the break here, chance at the end here. Ben Yesen shows a bit of strength, a bit of grit, winning the ball back for us. So just before the break here, Things are going pretty well for us. We really should be 2-0 up, though. We have maybe a chance here late on. Cooper plays with the Kobayashi, who's offside. It's not going to count. 
But um, still, we've had some good moments here in the first half. And we perhaps should be more than one goal up at this point. But uh, I'm certainly not going to sneeze at a 1-0 lead, put it that way. Here's Harvey Rose. And there it is. Full-time whistle. Sorry, half-time whistle has gone here. Wish it was a full-time. But half-time whistle has gone here. 1-0 up uh, to the good. And playing some really nice stuff out there. So uh, we'll keep the same lineup naturally. And obviously, we'll make some changes. We have a game midweek, I believe, against Blackpool in the uh, Carabao Cup on the uh, back of my head. Oh, that's an awful challenge. And uh, Richter is hacked down there at the start of the second half. It's going to be yellow card, yeah. So here's a chance maybe for Josh Michaels. Now, the guy can take a really, really nice free kick. Let's see what he can do from this distance. Usually it's a little bit closer. So this is the first, I'd say, real chance for Josh Michaels here. And it's flicked off the wall, but we're going to get the uh, second ball. The ball bounces around the box, and it's easily cleared. Disappointing free kick there from Josh Michaels. Good goal to play for Doncaster. Ball gets whipped in the box. Michaels makes the uh, necessary clearance, though. Obviously, it's still only one goal, so it's really anyone's game. But here's a chance now. Kobayashi, not the fastest player in the world, and I think the defender's going to get there. He's got Harvey Rose square. Ooh, he went for the uh, subtle chip there on the goalkeeper, and is tipped behind for a corner kick. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but, you know, we'll take it. Uh, Michaels going to put this ball in. Kante Sal's in the middle of things. He can't get anywhere near, and it's easily cleared by Doncaster. So uh, let's reset. Let's try and build another opportunity. Here's uh, El Bashir now on the edge of the penalty area. Good turn from Bashir. Whips the ball in, looking for Richter. It punched it's too close to the keeper. And it's uh, going to be cleared by Doncaster. All right, to give away a bad free kick, honestly, in a dangerous area. It's a really good chance here for Doncaster. Who's on this ball? Crawford. Andrew's going to step over it. There's Crawford. With the effort. Oh, great save there from Takabi. Had to watch it all the way. Oh, what a ball that is. Will Ponce get the can? Ponce is through on goal. <laughs> That's a good save from the keeper. As soon as I found out it was Ponce going 1-1 one -one with the keeper, uh, I kind of knew that was going to be the end result. He's possibly one of the worst attacking midfielders I've uh, ever worked with. Anyway, Morphin does well here to hold the ball. This is great build-up play. He's Cooper. He's got Ponce now. Ponce turns to the edge of the area. He's got time to shoot. Ponce off the inside of the post. But there's Coop on the return. 2-0. Callum Cooper makes it 2-0. Ponce, he hit the inside of the post. I was talking crap about him just two seconds ago. And uh, he actually had a decent effort there. Curling effort there. Beat the keeper. Let's take another look at it again. Yeah, did really well. Ponce, that's a great strike. And Cooper was on the hand to tap at home. Keeper might be disappointed not to get to the uh, second effort there. But it's 2-0. Callum Cooper... That's pretty much put this game to bed, and we're off to a perfect start here in League One. Encouraging signs of, of uh, perhaps what could be a back-to-back -back promotion season. Or is it too early to tell? I don't know. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I will play from Mary now. Chance late on here to make it 3-0, put the icing on the cake, but not great play from Mary. Dispossessed easily, but we will come away with a 2-0 victory. Obviously delighted with that result once again. Uh, goal there from Harvey Rose and a wonderful ball from Kobayashi. And uh, Callum Cooper wrapping things up in the 76th minute there with an easy tap in after Ponce hit the post. So, as you can see, we actually dominated the game. Not as far as possession goes, but plenty of opportunities for us. The man of the match today, Hiroyo uh, Kobayashi, once again providing a bit of creative spark from midfield. But uh, all in all, a great performance. We'll move on to the uh, next game up against Blackpool. All right, so here we go. Final game of the episode, this time against Blackpool Football Club, obviously in the Carabao Cup. So, I'll we'll make some changes to the first team today, give players a rest. Obviously, the league is my priority this season, so I'm looking uh, primarily to use my best 11 there. Obviously, we have a much bigger squad now, so it's easily rotate, easy to rotate players out. So, um, Carlson uh, will come in and go um, at left back today. We're going to do Thor Larson. Um, at right back, obviously, Dom Davis. Uh, center halves, Harris. And who else can we play alongside him? Completely for Morgan there for a bit of a laugh. But uh, we'll leave Fernandez in there just for now. Hold him midfield. Uh, we're going to do... Where is he? Where is he? Oh, how is he playing centre back? So I can't use him there. All right, that's fine. Uh, we'll just do... For now, we'll do Ponce. Uh, midfield, we'll do Rose and O'Don... Uh, actually, I promise Castro a game. Let's put Castro in there at 57 overall. Um, right wing... Um, Al Ghali, I guess, will get a game today, despite me my best attempts to loan him out. Um, Amiri starts left midfield, and we'll do Ethan Morgan on the bench. We'll also include some of the players 
in here too. Obviously a Chevalier too. We should probably bring him back in at some point. Get him run out. Uh, Menezes, we'll have him on there instead of Rose. Um, Harvey Rose that is. And El Ma Mawahad, I guess, as a backup keeper today. And uh, yeah, okay, it's everyone involved that needs to be involved. So, all right, let's get it going here. Obviously, the uh, Cowboy Cup really isn't uh, my priority this season. And um, I just want to keep the guys fresh on the reserve team. All right, so here we go up against Blackpool. Obviously, this is going to be a bit of a tough test. Um, a lot of reserve players out there today. And some of the players I haven't even really used before. El Gali is uh, certainly a name I am uh, kind of unfamiliar with. And obviously, four last and still playing at emergency left back. But he's got a lot of amazing run here. There's Ponce now. He's got a chance to set for Mamiri through, and he does beautifully. Al Ghali's coming around the back post. And that's a decent header there from Al Ghali. Again, don't expect him to be in the club much longer. He don't, I don't really rate him. Um, I just want to bring him into the team because he has some retaining value. I could try and sell him for at some point down the line. There's Al Ghali. He's got Castro streaking forward. He's got the touch there. There's Mamiri. Chance for Mamiri. Oh, first take is on. Take take the effort on for had to take the effort on first time and force a good save out of the keeper. Um let's see if we can do something in the set piece. Larson's gonna whip this ball in. There's Morgan in the near post. Can't get clean head on it. And it's gonna be easily cleared by Blackpool. But a good chance, good build up there from the boys. Now here's Ponce. He's found Marcus Rose. Oh not quite. Good tackle there from the Blackpool defender. Oh, a chance here on the break. Oh, step over, gone by his man, and he founds the back of the net. The big lumbering striker ran pretty much all the way from uh, the halfway line there. Give him far too much respect, and a good finish in the end, though. And uh, it's 1-0. Here's Ethan Morgan, edge there. Ethan Morgan goes back into his right foot this time. Uh, unfortunately, by uh, trying to move it to his right foot, he... Uh, the defender was able to close him down, but um, still decent build-up play. We'll take it. We're going to get a few opportunities, I think, today. Here's Morgan again. He's looking for the run of Pants. He's found him. Pants is going to chip this ball in. Mamiri's there. Not going to get it. There's El Ghali, though. Here's Castro. Castro to Pants. Pants back to Mamiri. Has he overran it? Yeah, he's overran it. And he goes behind for a goal kick. Here's Castro now. Finds a feet in Mamiri. To Morgan. We've got a row streaking forward. More Marcus Rose is going to have to do a lot of work today to uh, get up and down and support the front man. That's something we didn't do greatly well in uh, the first two games. Our midfield didn't really push forward, but I'm going to expect, you got to expect that really. All three of our midfielders are holding midfielders by nature and naturally do not have high attacking work rates. So um, Marcus Rose, I'm really going to be looking at his performance today to see what he can bring to the table this season because his, uh, his support might be necessary at some point. Here's a chance, though, for Blackpool. It's 2-0. And, uh, yeah, they're just picking apart our defense. Uh, our midfield really isn't strong enough today, and nor really is our defense, to be honest with you. So um, I'm, I'm expecting to lose today. Just because Blackpool just look more physically stronger, better technical-wise. And, uh, yeah, they, they've, they've come here to win. Us, on the other hand, we're just rotating the squad out. Anyway, here's a chance, perhaps, to get a goal back, though. Ball gets whipped in from Castro. Not a great ball. And it's uh, easily cleared. Here's Marcus Rose. He's found Castro at the edge of the air. Cut on his right foot. Castro with the effort. Curling wide of the post. On his weaker side, by the way, Castro is a uh, left midfield. He's a left footed player. That was a good strike from his right, though. Here's Ethan Morgan now. Chance to make it 2 1. Ethan Morgan finds the back of the net. It's 2 1 just before halftime here. So a lifeline for the Shrimps in the Carabao Cup. Pulling the goal back just before the break here. And it's good to see Ethan Morgan again on the score sheet. He's obviously had a great start to the campaign. That overhead kick will be something that lives long in my memories. And uh, that was a decent strike by itself as well. Racing through. And 2-1. Uh, so we have a lifeline. We might not be out of this competition quite yet. And it's a halftime break here and it's 2-1. So obviously getting the goal changes things quite a bit. Um, we do have options on the bench naturally. Uh, Chevalier is obviously one that comes to mind immediately. Tom O'Donnell who needs some more support from midfield. But uh, we'll keep the same side out there. We've got Kleber Menezes to add a bit of pace up top. He's a little bit faster than Ethan Morgan. Ethan Morgan is perhaps the better overall player. Well, there's enough perhaps about it, to be honest with you. But here's an early chance. Castro gets there. He's going to whip the ball in. There's a big space there. Here's Ponce at the edge of the area. Ponce with a strike. Straight to the keeper. But at least it was on target from Ponce. But that's a that's a good place to start. Now, well worked there from Blackpool. And Fernandez is going to stab the ball clear. 
But a good opportunity for Black Ball here at the start of the second half. In fact, the danger's not quite done yet, but it's going to roll into Carlson's hands. And... All right, so let's see if we can launch something perhaps from the back. Here's Castro, Mamiri found the ball. Castro's running inside of him. There's a Fall Larson on the overlap. He does very well. Fall Larson has Ethan Morgan to aim at, but that cross is absolutely atrocious, and I can understand why we don't see much of uh, Fall Larson anymore. There's Mamiri. He's found Castro. He's actually been involved a lot today, Castro. I've actually been very, very um, surprised and happy with his work rate. Here's Ponce, though. Let me take our time here, just kind of carpooling out. Here's Marcus Rose, great turn. Marcus Rose, oh, with a pile driver, 2-1. 2-2, uh, two, two, sorry. And uh, Marcus Rose sends these Shrimps fans into absolute ecstasy there. 2-2, two, two. we've pulled back from two down here to uh, make it 2-2, two, two. make it a competitive game. What a strike that was for Marcus Rose. We talked about him earlier, obviously seeing what kind of an impact he can make from midfield, supporting the front line, obviously. And uh, he's shown me that he has something to offer this season. Great turn at the edge of the area and an absolute power driver, unstoppable shot through the crowd. And uh, it is 2-2. Two, two. I've got to defend this. Ball gets whipped in. Fernandez makes the first clearance. Doesn't get very far though. Chance now for, oh, what a challenge that was. Ooh. And it fell back to the Blackpool player there after a great interception from Fernandez. And we we're lucky to get away with that one. Ball gets whipped in. Carlson's there, and he's missed the punch completely, and it goes behind for a goal kick. Heart and uh, mouth moments there for uh, Carlson. Obviously, come back into the team. He needs a strong showing if he wants to try and regain that number one spot from uh, Takabe. As for now, oh, Fernandez, what are you doing, son? Trying to break that ball down in the box. I actually hit the ball to clear it. I'm not sure why he tried to bring it down. So uh, about 10 minutes have to go in this game. Obviously, we had a couple penalty shootouts in the in the uh, competition last year. And I'm starting to feel like that we may go to penalties today. If that's the case, I will be tempted to bring on Menezes and uh, some of the more attacking options. Kobayashi perhaps take a penalty. we got to get there first. Ball's in the box now. Well worked and a good save at the near post from Carlson. Morgan always oh, found the feet of Castro beautifully. Oh, and he's... The ball's taken away from his feet just before he's about to shoot. Now here's Marcus Rose. Rose looking for Miri at the back post. Miri rises highest, but it goes wide off the post. Good opportunity. Good opportunity though for Miri here at the end. So just a couple minutes now of injury time to go through and straight to penalties, obviously. And obviously penalties, it's a, it's a coin toss. It's a 50-50 shot to really uh, to knock out Blackpool. Actually, to, to knock out, we actually played really well today for our reserve team. I'm, so very, very surprised. Obviously, um, two great goals. One from Ethan Morgan, the other from um, Marcus Rose. Pulled us back. Showed good grit, good determination. Especially late on then when Blackpool were knocking at the door. So, penalties. Yeah, let's get through this, shall we? So, as you notice, the penalty taken is pretty atrocious. Um, I didn't see a lot of 40s in there. Best penalty taker, though, is Castro. We'll start with him, and then we'll leave everything else as is. All right, so... Here is Carlson up against McLaughlin, and oh, sends him the wrong way. All right, so here we go, Castro. Let's see what he can do here from the penalty. Best penalty taker of the team. Keeper saves it, of course he does. All right, so here's Nandule. He's already got a goal against Carlson today. Let's see if he gets another one. And, oh, great penalty, great penalty there. Carlson gets the right way, but it was a good penalty in the end. And here's Chevalier. Looking at the keeper, said keeper's left, and a good uh, good save from there from the goalkeeper. So two misses in a row, and uh, looking like we're going to exit this competition early. Here's Cullen. Cheeky effort there from Cullen, and it goes harmlessly wide. So half a chance here, perhaps, for the shrimps. Here's uh, Bernardo Ponce, not exactly the person I would have picked, and that's why another fantastic save from the goalkeeper. All right, so if Ryan scores here against Carlson, it's all over. Steps up, and he sends Carlson the wrong way, and uh, we exit without scoring a single penalty. Embarrassing, really. 
All right, so we got a piece of news here. Uh, Cash, obviously, Algali's uh, transfer bid has been rejected. So, not transfer bid, but uh, transfer contract offer has been rejected. Not surprised there. The guy doesn't seem to want to move, despite me telling him, you're not going to get many games. All right, so um, that's going to wrap up the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of the uh, campaign. Obviously, that goal for Nathan Morgan is something that will live long in our memories. That was an absolutely unbelievable strike for an unbelievable player. Let's put it that way. And a uh, good start to the campaign otherwise, though. We showed good grit and termination against a very, very strong Blackpool team. Pulling back from 2-0 down to equalize 2-2. Two, two, two battle penalties were absolutely um, dog, dog doo-doo. But um, as you look at league standings, we sit on top of the table and uh, haven't conceded a single goal. So that is a very, very encouraging start to the season for us. Not to mention some very encouraging starts from uh, the likes of Kobayashi, Harvey Rose, um, Coop, Richter. Everyone's looking really, really good and on a form. The only player I'm questioning right now is Elbashir once again. But uh, we'll see if he grows into um, better form as he, he kind of goes up and down his form. But um, yeah, that wraps it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, who is your favorite shrimp? I'm just interested to see. Do we have any fan favorites out there in the crowd? Obviously, the support for the series has been amazing so far. And I'm looking forward to continue this series for as long as the interest is still there. But uh, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye.